My name's the Boogeyman, and I'm, well, the Boogeyman. You know, I'm the guy who creeps into children's bedrooms at night and frightens them. Bad job, really. Dress is casual. You get used to the hours after a while. After a few thousand years, I got to be pretty good at it. You think I'd be happy? But I wasn't. I didn't know exactly why, but something I felt for quite some time. It was as if something in my life were missing. I couldn't figure out what it was. No, I had a steady job since birth. Nice closet roof over my head, and I always considered myself extremely handsome. <coughs> Nevertheless, I was depressed. The fact that my 100,000th birthday was rapidly approaching made it all the worse. You see, I was about to turn the big 100000, but I didn't feel like celebrating at all. That was until one night. And something remarkable happened. At first, it seemed a night like any other. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. And so, like always, I proceeded to do my job. Boogie! Like I said, nothing out of the ordinary. Only just then, as I was making my way back into the closet, something curious caught my eye. It was a birthday celebration with a cake and balloons and friends. Friends! I never had a birthday party. Most importantly, I never had a friend. Actually, I never met anyone that I didn't try to scare the crap out of. Maybe a friend is what's been missing all along. Well, that was that. I decided I needed a pal. Now, I wasn't exactly sure how to make a friend, but I figured the best way would be to approach them very slowly. Well, that obviously didn't go over so well. So I thought perhaps I should approach significantly quicker. It was beginning to look like this was going to be more difficult than I'd thought. But now that I was positive that it wasn't a speed issue, I decided it must have been my point of entry. And, though I hadn't thought of it before, a fellow emerging from a closet in the dead of night could likely be perceived as frightful. So I tried other ways. Boogie! 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 Understand it. The children were still petrified of me. And then it hit me. Boogie! Boogie! The actual word boogie! What sort of greeting is that? Hello there! Howdy, partner! Hola! Bienvenidos, amiga! That wasn't it at all! And I was starting to think that I might never make a friend in time for my birthday. So, I decided to take a step back and try to think like a kid. I mean, what do kids really like? Magic tricks! Woo! Completely giving up. 
And then it happened. One final fantastic idea. What could a child not help but instinctively adore? What was the least scary thing in the world? I'm a clown. Well, that was it. I tried everything I could think of and still came up empty. Maybe there's no room in the world for a friendly boogeyman after all. I decided to make things go back to the way they were before. I couldn't do it. I couldn't bear to frighten another child. Not anymore. It was different now. It felt wrong. And so I left. Hello? Are you talking to me? Oh! You can see me! You can actually see me! I can see you! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just that, 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 that no one has ever seen me before. This is incredible! Well, aren't you frightened of me? No. I'm sorry, should I be? Oh no, no, no! <laughs> No, it's, it's great. Just most people are. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm the Tooth Fairy. You know, I, I, I put money under their pillows and I take their teeth while they're sleeping. It's not a bad job, really. It's just that I, I'm lonely because no one can see me. Of course, you don't understand that because everybody can see you. Except, I'm the boogeyman. Children are always frightened of me. Believe me, I understand. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Man. Well, it's nice to meet you, Miss Fairy. We spent nearly every day together. Talking, laughing, playing games. It was perfect. She even told me she thought I looked kind of cute. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Then it was time for my birthday. At my party, she told me that if I closed my eyes and made a wish, it would come true. I told her it already had. Thank mm -hmm. you.